Hello everybody and welcome to another video. For today's video is my long awaited update to my diary of Wobby K collection. And this a this update is done in April of 2024. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this for a while. So oh, I finally had the time to do it to do the collection video. And as you can see I recently got the movie title is your cabin fever. So without further ado, let's get into it. So it all began in 2007. We had Diary of a Whippy Kid. There we go. Mm -hmm. It's the first book. I actually got this from my teacher when I was uh, graduating middle school. Yeah, this book is really good. If you're going to start with the Diary of a Wee Kid series, I, I recommend you pick this up. So, yeah. Uh, uh, I was actually two years old when this came out in 2007 because I was born in 2005, so I was only two years old. old. But I first, first read it when I was in my elementary school days. So ever since I read that, I, I started collecting all the Wibby Kid books. So, yeah, that's Diary of Wibby Kid. Then in... Then in 2008, we had Diary of Wood Kid Roger Rules. This one's blue. This book, this book is really good. I, I say it's. It's not better than the first one, but I still think it's pretty good. In fact, this one's probably my favorite book out of the 18 books of the series. Here's The Last Straw from 2009. This one's green. Here is Dog Days, also from 2009. It's yellow. Yeah, I just had a sticky you note know, in there just for fun. That's. Here's the Ugly Truth. From 2010. This is another comment that my parent, uh, no, not my parents, my teacher gave me from when I was graduating middle school. So, Here is Cabin Fever from 2011, same year as the second movie. Oh, I forgot to mention, The Ugly Troop was released in 2010, which was the same year as the as the first movie, the first live action movie. And as of last year, this is now an anime movie on Disney Plus. So, and I do have the movie tie-in edition, which I'll show you later. So, yeah. Here's the third wheel from 2012. 
This one's brown. Oh, I forgot. The other two was purple, and Cabin Fever was like a sky blue. This one's brown. Here's Hard Luck from 2013. This one's like a, a liar green. I'm talking about the cover, not the pages. Here's the long haul from 2014. Yeah, this is a copy I've seen better days. And I was thinking now I put it in there. Yeah, this one got turned into a movie. Uh, well, not an anime movie, but a live action movie. Here's Old School from 2015. This one's black and white. Or did I not show this? Next is Double Down from 2016. Okay. Oh, and this is, this is the first book where they started doing different colors for the spines. So this one is orange and yellow. Oh. Next is the getaway from 2017, the same year when when the long haul was released. I mean the movie, not the book. So <laughs> this one is blue and green. Next is the Meltdown from 2018. This one's purple and blue. Next is Wrecking Ball from 2019. This one's gray and orange. This is where they started doing different textures for the covers. For the front cover, that is. And, oh, I, I already showed you that. Next is the Deep End from 2020. This is where they started doing different cover designs for this. Like this one looks like it's in a, in a pool and, and it's in all different shades of blue. Next is Big Shot from 2021. This one's a jersey. This one's a jersey theme. And, and the colors are white and gold and blue. Or is it or what's that purple? I, I think it's blue, so. Mm, I think it's purple or 
No, no, it's blue. It's blue. So. Then 2022, we had diaper overload. Oh, this one's this one almost looks like a big speaker, and it's black and gray. And finally, we have No Brainer from from last year, 2023. <laughs> I love that image. I love that illustration where Greg is chasing his brain. <laughs> All right, so that does it with the books. Now I'm going to show you the extras. First is the Whippy Kid Do Yourself book. This is basically like an activity book that includes a lot of activities you could do, and there's and you can even use the rest of this book to do whatever you want. Here's a uh, full color comics, and then here's the activities. So, so. Here is the first version of the Whippy Kid Movie Diary, which just talks about the making of the first movie. Yep. Here is the second version of the Movie Diary, which talks about all three movies, the making of all three movies. And here is the Whippy Kid Movie Diary, the next chapter, which is, which talks about the making of the fourth movie. Okay. Um. Uh. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the special editions that that I have. So here is the special cheeses edition of the first book. This one was released in 2017 to celebrate the 10th anniversary of Diary of Whoopi Kid. Here's a note from Jeff Kinney. And what's cool about this is that it's printed on premium paper. And every time the cheese is shown, and every time the cheese is shown, sorry guys, give me a second here. Colored in yellow, and even the edges of the pages are are colored in yellow. So, so if you're a true fan, I recommend getting this. So because it's really cool. I don't know if they sell it anymore, but I don't think they do. But I think you can still get this on eBay. So now I'm going to show you the movie tie-in editions. If I can, yeah, there we go. So here is it's the first one. Hmm. The first movie came out in 2021. Here's a post. Here's a, a little bit of the poster. Here's Greg Rowley probably out of the book. It's basically a new cover design, but everything is just, but everything else is the same. So, I think getting, I think only the cover art is what makes it worth getting. So, but I really don't mind that. I kind of wish they added full color photos from the movie, but it's fine for what it is. Here's Roger Rules. And finally, here is Cabin Fever. 
the one that I just got, I think, two weeks ago? Yeah, the one that I just got last week. week I believe. Or, or, yeah, I think it was um last week that I got it. Honestly, I like the cover on this, this because on the original book, you just have Greg and May, while on this one, you have the whole Hefley family on the cover page, on the cover. So, yeah, that's really cool. All right, so, or, um, hang on. So, oh, so that's it with the books. Now we're gonna, now we're gonna move on to the movies. So here I have this this three movie pack that I have on DVD. I actually got this as a birthday gift from my mom one year, and she was really fortunate enough to get me this. And no, this is not a digital AG code. It's just a sneak. It's just a cover sneak peek at the next film. Here's disc one, disc two, and disc three. Oh. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um. Or actually, I'll put that to the side. And finally, here's Diary of a Wimpy Kid, It's the Long Haul. This came out in 2017. Now, I know it, it's not a lot of people's faith. Now, I know this is the weakest film out of the four. Out of the uh, seven movies. But, I actually like this one. And to be honest. Although, although, yeah, I do. But, I actually like this one. But, if you hate this movie, then that's fine. I respect your opinion, so. Alright. And with that, that concludes my Diary of a Wimpy Kid collection for uh, April of 2024. Like I said, this is this is a video that my fans have been waiting for a long time since No Brainer came out. So, yeah. Uh, but, but what I'm actually going to do is, I'm actually going to do a two-part. So... So part one was showing you all the books, but part two is where I'm going to be showing off my Diary of an Awesome Friendly Kid collection. The reason I didn't, didn't show those is because my hand was getting tired from holding the iPad. So I'm actually going to do a two-parter. So yeah, I hope you guys don't mind anything about that. So, but, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Oh, I have plenty of other videos for everyone to enjoy. And until next time, yeah, I'll see you all later. Take care. Bye now.